everybody, how you doing? It's John Brewer here with the Socially Distant Supper Club. We are here live at the wine room, and I'm here with Chef Blair. Hey, Chef, what's going on? What's going on, man? So what do you got? You guys are just opening up now? Yeah. And uh, obviously this is one of your offerings. What else have you got on the menu right now? What are you guys going to be doing with the days going forward? So, like I like said, we just fired up. Uh, we're kind of bringing back just our signatures. All the crowd favorites that were really big when we were up and running. Um, kind of did learn to go back in the water. We wanted to bring back uh, everything that was uh, basically our house favorites. The people that, you know, things that people came, us, came to us for. Mm -hmm. And we got really good traction on that thus far. We're going to start integrating some more family geared menus, some more family style things. Sure. And then obviously pairing with you and with Fitzy, um, doing some moving forward, uh, doing the distance club, uh, possibly doing some cocktail pairings, obviously doing some wine pairings. For sure. You know, given, given our concept. Um, and so as we continue to build, and we're, we want to bring back employees very slowly, and very carefully, and very cautiously, um, we'll be able to expand our offerings. Right. Yeah. So you can do be wine pairings, Absolutely. drink pairings. Absolutely. Um, we're trying, so, trying to gear boxes around, you know, kind of picnic baskets. That really makes make those yeah. sense. Yeah. That's yeah. a great idea. Yeah. A couple bottles of wine, a couple cocktails, and then you got a good ticket home box. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you. Uh, let's get Fitzy in here real quick. We want to tell everybody about the drink program you guys got going on down here. So are these the guys in your chef, the uh, chicken wings, pork ribs, Brussels sprouts, or is that a special menu? That's just, that's our speakeasy and stay at home box. Okay. Um, so that's just our crowd favorites from happy hour. Awesome. Um, that looks like some great stuff. Yeah, for 55, uh, you get a box for two, and that includes a bottle of house wine, and then Fitzy's working on some batch cocktails to send you home with too. Awesome. Fitzy, you're, you're the, Del the Delray staple. We finally get to, to be together, socially distanced, of course, but uh, it's better than nothing. Happy to be here, John. You can't see this, but I got a huge grin. Who <laughs> <laughs> can, can tell if I'm smirking or smiling or like so <laughs> unusual, but I got a big smile on my face because we're back in action. Awesome. Um, albeit in a um, unique landscape, something uh, that's new frontier for all of us. Yes. So now some places have had a little head start. Some places are, are doing an amazing job. Yes. Um, I'm proud of a lot of friends in the industry and what, what they've been doing, uh, yourself included, has been just phenomenal. And it's just, just fun to watch and just like heartwarming, literally. Thank you. So Appreciate we're, we're excited to be back up, get this rolling, and um, just just happy to be here. So this is going to be your first day today. You guys can kind of, almost like a soft opening, I guess. I don't know you guys don't want to make too much of a fanfare about it. Then we'll start breaking up and, and uh, you know, because that has been an issue. Some of the restaurants, we were talking about this before, uh, pivoting into that pickup model. Yeah. Uh, when you're, when you're, I mean, this was a full service restaurant. This place you came, you sat down, you sampled wine. But you guys have got such great product, food wise. Got such a great wine selection, and your spirit program is, is very good, also. So I think you'll be doing stuff in jars. You'll be doing to-go packages. Yeah. So we're we're batching uh, for now. Uh, our model is going to be um, drinks for four. So it'll be a couple in order, and they've got you know two drinks on piece, or you got a, a, a socially distant group of four people. Uh, they got one each, and of course we could do leaders. Uh, I've talked to a lot, a lot of my friends in the business, and, and it seems like leaders are, are outpacing half leaders. Okay. Uh, so we can do bigger batches too, but we've tried to design this uh, to be perfectly portioned, perfectly balanced with bitters, perfectly balanced with what secret ingredients we put in there. Perfect so that when you take it home, it translates. Right. So obviously there's some things we do that just, you got to make it here. I gotta make it for you. But these, this is the recipe. It's perfectly portioned and it's ready for you at home to enjoy, like, um, you know, with your dinner or just after dinner, too. So, you, you bring up such a great point. And I've been talking to a lot of restaurants about this. It's, it's you know, Chef Emerson and, and uh, Chef Alex over at that third and third or uh, at Death or Glory. Um, the considerations now that you have to make, Chef, when you're putting your food together, how is this gonna travel? If someone reheats this, how is it going to look when they reheat it? Um, there are so many different challenges now for each restaurant. And, you know, our members are great because they understand that. Yep. And they've been very, very cool about, uh, about working with the restaurants. You know, we've seen restaurants do one menu, they come back with a second menu, and then they're, they're dialed in. So uh, I think you've learned a lot from seeing what everybody's kind of done before you. Yeah, know. We've had the benefit of watching, watching yeah. what's worked and, and how people have adjusted, like you said, on, on the fly. Because for everybody, this is um, not a lot of things.
things in my career, shuffle probably, you know, say the same thing, but I've never done package cocktails. Right. Um, so there's, I'm sure Blair would also agree, there's not that you're dying to put on this menu, but it just, it's not to tell you, it's just not going to translate to the, to the home. Um, just like there's cocktails, I'd, I'd love to, to be able to put on this menu, but these, uh, that we put together, the food, the beverage, of course the bottle of wine, yep. it's easy. Uh, the cheese and charcuterie often gets overlooked here. Um, not often. People don't realize this is the most cheese and charcuterie in the state of Florida. Is that right? The it's the largest selection in the state. Um, Fantastic. And all of that is tailor-made for what we're doing, for yes. takeout, that you could take home. Um, and it's going to be just as good at home as it would be here. We've had to kind of temper things a little bit to key in on. I know all these cocktails are going to go home, and even if you only have a pint glass, not a formal texting glass, um, it's still going to be simple enough. Yeah, we'll shake it some ice, strain it out. And it's going to come out almost exactly like awesome. it's here. So, yeah, we're stoked to get going. And, um, we're also that we're, we're, we're happy to have you guys back. We're really looking forward to some of the exciting food that you guys are going to put out. I think you're going to find that. You know, even though we've all been quarantined, people are sick of eating ramen every night or soft boiled eggs. And we're looking forward to the people that, uh, you know, are the professionals in the culinary arts like you guys are to, uh, to wow our taste buds and uh, to kind of make the best of this bad situation. So welcome back, guys. We're so happy to have you guys back again and looking forward to some kick-ass drinks and some kick-ass food. Thank you so much for including in this and the socially distant supper club. It's just been awesome. So we're proud to be like getting in, in line and we appreciate everything you're doing, man. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, guys.